And then, after the resurrection, the women went to the tomb. And they were saying to each other, who will roll away the stone from the entrance for us? Because they knew it was big. And they couldn't do it. There's maybe three, four, five of them. And they used the Greek word for the entrance of the tomb, which was logical. Who will roll away the stone from the entrance of the tomb? But when they got there, they said, who, and I'm going to describe this rolling a minute, who rolled away the stone from? They changed it from the entrance of the tomb to use the word for the entire massive sepulcher. Now, why would they do that? Because every time somebody approached the tomb afterwards, they made an amazing statement about the position that one and a half to two ton stone that 20 men could not move. Let me show you what I mean. They used the Greek word kuleo, which means to roll. Kuleo simply means to roll. But in Mark 16, verse 4, they added a preposition to it, ana, A-N-A. Like to change the intensity or the direction of a verb, whatever, you could add a preposition like you can in English. And when they added the preposition ana, ana kuleo can only mean to roll something up a slope. And to have used that word, and that stone was in such a position, they said, who ana kuleo, the stone? Who rolled the stone up the slope? Or it was totally meaningless in any of their context. And there rose some damp a slope or an incline. And then, in Luke 24, used the word kaleo, but changed the preposition to apo, apo. Apo kaleo means, apo means away from the sense of distance. Apo kaleo means to roll one object from another object in a sense of distance. Here is a one and a half to two ton stone that 20 men couldn't uh, carry. And it said, who rolled the apocalypse the stone away at a distance from the tomb without waking up the guard, tiptoeing over them, defeating the four there without waking up the rest of them and stealing the body. And then in John 20 when they approached it, John totally changed the verb to iro, A-I-R-O, which means to pick up something and carry it away. And when they got there, they exclaimed, Whoa! Who picked up and carried away the stone? And with the, all the different descriptions, at a distance from not just the entrance, but the entire sepulcher, looking like it had been rolled up a hill. It's interesting that everyone who approached the tomb afterwards made a startling statement about the position of one and a two half ton stone. And then the Roman seal was broken, which meant the Romans would find out who did it and they would be killed, martyred. And many people say the tomb was empty. It wasn't. When they ran there, it said they leaned over, because the entrance was only about four and a half feet tall, and uh, they leaned over and looked in, and they saw the grave clothes. They were good, the headpiece, everything. But the body of Christ had passed right through them or somebody brought in and rearranged him and everything.